Hello YouTube, um, right, a quick job on the S3 today, um, as you can see, got the uh, induction pipe off and the cover, because I got a rattle, and uh, I wasn't going to video this, but uh, yeah, I found the rattle, <laughs> anybody else had this as well, um, so there's a heat plate there, which basically um, stops the heat coming up from the turbo and, and I guess damaging the, uh, the cover. And uh, yeah, seems like the screws have dropped out of it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video, just in case anybody else has got a really annoying rattle. I thought it was coming from the exhaust at first, but uh, I gave the exhaust a good workout last night, and uh, no, nothing wrong with it. So yeah, there is my problem. So yeah, I found that bolt was very loose as well, and these are, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get some new ones because these bolts are not something I would keep. Um, so that was holding the other side in, that was almost falling out as well. Um, also I noticed that that bracket there, so I'm guessing this has been a little bit loose for a while because that bracket there isn't attached either. Um, so yeah, what turned into a quick inspection is gonna be pain in the backside I think. Oh well, such is life. <sighs> so I've lifted it away slightly. Um, if you can see that, there you go, you've got a bolt hole there and a bolt hole at the back of it. Oh, there's a bolt hole there as well. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, there's a bolt hole there. And there's, is that one at the back? Let's have a feel. Yeah, one at the back there as well. So it looks like two big bolts and maybe a smaller bolt. Um, I would take it off, but the trouble is, look, this is an actual uh, water flow pipe. And it's connected into this, so you can't get rid of it. And I suppose as well, really, as a heat shield, it should be there. Ah, oh there. This is going to be a five-minute job. And now it's time to go rifling through my stash to see if I've got any big bolt. Um, no, coarse red. This is going to be um, a nightmare. So I don't mind admitting I've made a very, very bad mistake. I forgot we live in the UK and it rains a lot. I think it's a trip down to the local hardware store. Well, good old sterling nuts and bolts to the rescue. There you go. So that's what I got from them and some washers, obviously. And just need to slightly hacksaw them down to get them the right length. Yeah, hacksaws are far too slow. Let's do it with this. That's easier. Right, all chopped down, ready to go. See if they fit. Plenty of this stuff as well. It's still raining, of course, because this is the UK. Well, like they say, there's nothing like a nice, easy job, and that was probably the definition of nothing like a nice, easy job. Um, let me see if I can get you in. I might have to take the camera out of its holder, actually. But basically, that's the heat shield there. You see there, it's all boxed up nice and solid. Um, but hold on a second, let me see if I can get the camera around the other side. If you can see it, I hope you can because I can't see the screen. Uh, there's a bolt tucked right away there and there's a bolt tucked right inside there. Um, that's the new one obviously, that side. Uh, again, hope you can see this. And uh, yeah, basically it stops the heat from the turbo coming up. Um, so, obviously worthwhile having on, but a pain in the backside. Now, what I'm going to do um, I did buy a few, uh, what about a month ago, some new ones of these. So I'm going to stick them on. Here we have them. Brand new suction cups. Go me. Time to get it back on again then. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All back together again. And no rattly, tinny, noisy, platey, tingy, thingy rattle. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, hopefully there's uh, there's no rattly when it's uh, ticking over. So uh, yeah, I think now I'll probably need to do to this what I did to the wife's. <laughs> Needs a damn good clean. I made a bit of a mess. Right, let's start her up. Yeah, sounds good. Can't hear any rattling, which I did before, obviously because that plate's now tight. So um, yeah, what turned into a little investigation ended up being um, a bit of a pain. But there you go, all fixed. And this is the point where you go to put your tools away and realize that one's missing. Oops. Okay, cover back off. Not where I expected it to be. Um, can you see it? 
You see it guys? Point it out to me, where is it? Um, okay. Mildly concerning. So this bizarrely is turning to um, some kind of a mystery. Um, <laughs> there's the, the missing item. It's got a 13mm socket on it. Uh, it's usually 10 mils you lose. And uh, I've had a look everywhere. And I can't find it. Where on earth can it be? Can you find it? Can you see it? Sure as hell I can't. Found it! Right down the back of the engine. Holy! That's better. Well, I don't mind telling you, that was a bit of an arse, rabbit's nose, twitchy moment. Um, not for the fact that I lost the socket, um, but for the fact I didn't know where the hell it was. And you have weird flashbacks coming through your head that it might have dropped down into the turbo and you've already started the engine up and, uh, yeah, you know, all the crazy things that go through your head. But um, it wasn't. It's right down the back of the engine and um, I found it. So happy. So we're all back together. I, I am going to give it a clean now, or at least a quick going over because it's even more dirty and uh, it's all wet. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to video that. I think you've had enough for today. Thanks for joining me, YouTube. Catch you later.